This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. In today's episode, you will learn how to measure mains AC voltage using the ZMPT101B 250V AC mains voltage sensor, Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno, and an SSD1306 or 8LE display module. Since this is my first video on the ZMPT101B AC voltage sensor module, so I will try my level best to explain each and every detail including Number 1. The ZMPT101B mains voltage sensor technical specifications. Number 2. Pins description. Number 3. Circuit diagram. Number 4. How to install all the required libraries. Number 5. Arduino programming. Number 6. The ZMPT101B AC voltage sensor calibration. And number 7. Practical demonstration. So without any further delay, let's get started. The ZMPT101B is a voltage sensor module commonly used for measuring alternating current AC mains voltage. It is designed to work with a voltage range of 80 to 250 volts AC. The module includes a voltage divider circuit and an internal operational amplifier to provide an analog output proportional to the measured voltage. The ZMPT101B can be used in various applications such as power monitoring, smart home automation, energy management systems and an industrial control system. It is commonly utilized in projects where measuring the AC mains voltage is required for monitoring or control purposes. It is important to note that when working with mains voltage, proper safety precautions should always be taken and it is advisable to consult relevant electrical codes and standards. Additionally, if you plan to use the ZMPT101B module, it is recommended to refer to the manufacturer's data sheet and documentation for detailed specifications, wiring diagrams and usage guidelines specific to the module. You can download the ZMPT101B datasheet from our website electronicclinic.com. I have added a link in the description. This is a compact single phase AC voltage sensor module based on the micro precision voltage transformer ZMPT101B. Turns ratio is 1000 to 1000. The rated input and output current is 2 mA. Voltage range is between 80 and 250 volt AC. The high precision onboard operational amplifier circuit is based on the LM358 operational amplifier IC. Operating temperature is from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus minus 60 degrees Celsius. The supplying voltage is 5 volts to 30 volts DC. With the help of this onboard potentiometer, the output voltage can be adjusted. In simple words, it is used for calibration. I will practically demonstrate this in a minute. We have a terminal block on one side and four male headers. Connect the mains AC voltage live and neutral wires over here using the terminal block. The four male headers are clearly labeled as VCC, out, ground and ground. I'm using my newly designed Arduino Nano and LoRa based development board but you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard and instead of using Arduino Nano, you can also use Arduino Uno. Anyway, the VCC and ground pins of the ZMPT101B voltage sensor are connected to the Arduino 5V and ground pins. Whereas the voltage sensor out pin is connected to the Arduino analog pin A0. The SSD1306 or LED display module VCC and ground pins are connected to the Arduino 3.3V and ground pins. Whereas the SCL and SDA pins are connected to the Arduino analog pins A5 and A4. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA. The 5 volt buzzer is connected to the Arduino digital pin D4. If your only goal is to measure the AC mains voltage then there is no need to use the buzzer. But if you want to monitor the over voltage and under voltage then you can use this buzzer. You will only need to define the over voltage and under voltage limits in the programming. You can watch my previous video if you want to make the same development board or you can follow this circuit diagram if you want to manually wire up all the electronics. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. If you have been using Ultium Designer for creating schematics and designing your PCBs and you don't know about Ultium 365, then let me tell you about it. Ultium 365 lets you store projects in the cloud with all the documents and components you might need to complete all your tasks. To unlock all of the functionality of Ultium 365, you must first connect to your workspace, a separate environment where all your data exists. After logging into your account, you can access all of the features of the Ultium 365 platform. 
Let me show you how to create a workspace. Click on the Not Signed In drop down button and click on the Sign In. Click on the Register an Account. It's just a two steps process into your email ID or you can also register with Gmail and Facebook. Once you complete the registration, then come back to Ultimate Designer, enter your email ID and password, check the sign in automatically box and click on the sign in button. And your Ultimate 365 workspace will activate. Click on manage if you want to change your password, your information and you can also write about your experience and projects. And finally, you can click on the save button. I will share more tips and tricks with you in my upcoming videos. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. First, let's install the required libraries and then we will take a look at the programming. Go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit GFX library and install it. As you can see, I have already installed this library. Next, search for the Adafruit underscore SSD1306 library. I have also installed this library. Next, search for the ZMPT101B library and install it. We simply define the sensitivity, then we define the pin and the frequency. In my case, I'm using analog pin A0 and the mains frequency on my side is 50 Hz. If on your side the frequency is 60 Hz, then we use 60 Hz. All these other instructions are for the SD1306 or LED display module. Inside the white setup function, I have activated the serial communication. I set the buzzer as output. Next, I set the voltage sensor sensitivity and I activated the OLED display module. Inside the loop function, only this instruction does all the things. We simply read the voltage and then print it on the OLED display module. You can download this program from our website electronicclinic.com. Next, connect your Arduino port to the laptop. and upload this program. As you can see, the code has been uploaded. I'm going to use this 12 volt adapter to power up my Arduino development board. Next, I'm going to supply AC voltage to the ZMPT101B sensor. You can see the measured AC voltage on the OLED display module. I don't know if this value is correct, so I'm going to use my digital multimeter to measure the actual mains AC voltage. As you can see, the actual voltage is 189 volts AC while the measured voltage fluctuate around 190 volts. This value is pretty close and for me it's acceptable. If on your side the voltage difference is more, then you can use this potentiometer to fine tune the value. While calibrating the sensor, make sure you don't touch AC voltage fires or the contacts on the bottom side of the PCB as it can be really dangerous. I fine-tuned my ZMPT101B voltage sensor and now the measured value is pretty close to the actual voltage value. It's okay if you see small fluctuations. Now we can define limits in the programming. Let's say when the voltage drops below 100 volts, the Arduino can automatically turn off the AC, TV or any other sensitive loads. And the same thing you can do for the over voltage. On my design Arduino Nano development board, I have also used LoRa R8-02 transceiver module which can wirelessly send data over a long distance around 5 kilometers. So using the LoRa module, I can monitor a power station or I can use it to check if the AC voltage is available or not. In my upcoming video, I will use it for making a power monitoring system. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.